and in this video we're going to use on shape to create ISO number 8. Uh, to do this, uh, we're going to make the overall structure and then just chafe it in this bottom corner here. Uh, so first we have to figure out the overall size of this uh, shape we have. It looks like we have a height of 2 here on the front side. Uh, it goes back a distance if we count of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then up a height of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, so we're going to create this ISO using Onshape. So first create a document. We name it ISO 8. And as that workspace loads, uh, this one we're going to do a little differently. We're going to use the right plane instead of the front plane. Uh, so I'm going to start a sketch. I'm going to put it on that right plane. I'm going to turn to that right view. And we're going to make this right-hand side box. Uh, so we just counted and we said it went in 5 and it goes up 6. Uh, so we come back here and we do our rec. Uh, we're going to use lines this time. And we're going to go over 6, so type in 6, enter, then we go up, and we want, want to make sure we have that perpendicular, you can see I'm way up by my view cube, and it's per, it pops that perpendicular, when I click, I want to type in 5 to go up 5, and then I'm going to zoom out just so we can see a little better, I'm going to recenter, and then we go over to our origin, we don't want to go all the way to the dot because it goes up too. Uh, so I'm just going to put it on that line for now and we're going to dimension it here in a second. So then now that I've clicked, I'm going to go straight down to that corner to close off my shape. And I'm going to make that distance a uh, 2. Now we can see we have our black so it's fully constrained and we can hit our green check. Uh, then we have to count how far to extrude it, so we come back to our diagram and we can count over and we can look and it goes over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we want to give it a depth of 8. So I'm going to click on this few cubes so we can see the depth a little better. Click on our shape and type in a depth of 8 and click enter. Uh, that gives us most of our object, but not completely. Uh, so the last thing we have to do once we hit our green check is chafer from this front right corner. Uh, so again, we have to find this chafer. I'm going to click on that front right corner. We'll look back at our object to see how that chafer is going to look. Uh, so if we look, it goes in 1, 2, 3 to the left, so we're along the front, and then 1, 2, 3 back in the depth. Uh, so 3, so it's going to be equal distance both ways, and we just have to change that value to a 3 and hit enter. And that gives us that cutout we're looking for. Uh, so that gives us our object we're looking for here on ISO number 8. Hopefully this helps. Good luck.